Poland Daily Business. We normally talk about Poland, but right now we look at the United States and what's going on there in politics, because the presidential election are less than 100 days. Uh, it's, uh, November 3rd is the date when everyone, everything will be decided, who will lead this superpower for the next four years. Artur uh, Wrublewski of Lazarski University is our guest tonight. Sir, welcome to the show. Hello, good evening. You've, uh, last week we've seen the Democratic Convention and unsurprisingly um, the Joe Biden and Mrs. Harris were elected to challenge the Donald Trump. Uh, this uh, convention painted very bad, grim, a uh, grim picture of the United States as the country that um, scores very badly fighting coronavirus. All the problems uh, that are connected to that um, have been uh, put on the shoulder of uh, incumbent president. Uh, we've seen the country that is racist, where the carriers of uh, people depend on their skin tone. Well, uh, what do you think about this democratic convention? Was it effective for the democratic electorate? Uh, I don't think it was uh, effective and particularly successful uh, event. And we can uh, notice even this uh, trend negative now for Democrats in many surveys, in many polls. Uh, it looked like one month ago, two months ago, Democrats were winning in the polls at least. Uh, Joe Biden was uh, making bigger uh, his, um, his numbers in those polls over Trump. But now we see that this difference is flattening, so the curves are flattening. We see that now, more or less, Joe Biden and Trump, in terms of support, are on equal footing. Uh, for example, even in such places like North Carolina and Ohio, which are battleground states, swing states, very important for the electoral um, win, uh, we see that Trump is leading Biden by one or four points, uh, which is very good uh, information for uh, Trump, uh, but bad news for Joe Biden. Why? Uh, I think the situation is a little bit changing in favor of President Trump because this Democratic Convention was uh, quite weak. Uh, first of all, it was only virtual show, which is quite natural because we are in times of pandemic. But we know that Joe Biden is hidden and everything was obvious at this convention. There was no vision for the future. It's difficult to mention uh, Bernie Sanders as someone young who is providing some kind of cohesive vision for the future. We knew all those tales of Bernie Sanders with single-payer health system and free education for students in the United States. It's a little bit utopian. At the same time, 77 years old Joe Biden did not say anything new. We have also in the background some controversies relating to Joe Biden as um, someone who um, abused or assaulted uh, women uh, 30 years ago. We have several of them uh, testifying against him. We, have, we know that he was a racist in 1970s, so it was not a long time ago, uh, and so on. Besides, he's quite old. That's why they picked up Kamala Harris, uh, who is 50-something, so she's uh, young enough to um, inherit presidency in case Joe Biden would not survive the four years in office. But everything looks a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, not serious, I would say. Uh, America needs someone, uh, if we look on Democratic Convention, someone young, someone who will appeal to younger voters and to different uh, people. 
uh, to different constituencies. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't find uh, such person. They just uh, rely on Joe Biden, who is a well-known theme in American politics, but they added Kamala Harris uh, due to political correctness. She's uh, a little bit black. Uh, and instead of, uh, I don't know, picking up uh, Karen Bass, who is the head uh, of um, uh, Black Caucus, a lady, and or, for example, instead of choosing uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, who claims to be a Cherokee, uh, they decided to, uh, to, to, to rely on Kamala Harris, who is also well-known in American politics. But before that, she was a prosecutor in San Francisco. Later, she was general attorney, general prosecutor in California. And this is also a little bit strange because uh, she is, to some extent, responsible for putting many minority people into prisons and for overcrowding San Francisco and California prisons. So to me, for example, it's not very convincing what happened uh, at the Democratic Convention. So, to sum up, you don't think the Democrats have it to win the presidency in 2020? Not after this convention. It was a four-day lost opportunity. They brought some people like Joe, uh, John Kasich, uh, a traitor, uh, we could say, because he was a long-term Republican governor of Ohio, he won past elections by being Republican, and now he spoke against um, against uh, President Donald Trump and Republican establishment. But look, a little bit like in Poland, uh, Democrats are simply uh, playing on this uh, policy of being anti-Trump, anti-Trumpish. They criticize Trump mostly for dividing America, but we could ask, uh, America was not divided during Obama presidency. Why President Obama didn't do uh, more to uh, connect the bridges? Also, they rely on criticizing Trump for coronavirus, for pandemic, but it is Chinese who organized this hell for the United States and for all of us, not President Trump economy was booming when he was in office uh, in March before a pandemic. So to some extent, I think these are artificial grievances brought forth against President Trump, and I am not convinced that it will be enough to um, convince voters uh, to, to run to the uh, to run and put ballot po uh, ba uh, ballots uh, anyway, very, for, 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 for Democrats. Very interesting campaign in front of us. Artur Wroblewski of Lazarski University. We will talk about that more in the next episodes. Sir, thank you very much for this, con uh, this uh, conversation. Thank you very much. And that was it for Poland Daily Business. Please watch us tomorrow, same time.